This video is sponsored by AnyTrans. Their iPhone switcher feature allows you to easily transfer all of your old files from the old iPhone to the new one or even from iPhone to Android. You can also transfer from iCloud or Google Cloud to your new iPhone. They are also doing a giveaway of an iPhone 11. Make sure you check out the link in the description. With just a few clicks, you can go ahead and enter this giveaway. And the more entries you make, the more chances you have to win an iPhone 11. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 tricks that you probably didn't know that your iPhone could do. Now, some of these are exclusive to iOS 13, but as iOS 13 is just a few days away from being released to the public, I thought I'd put them in this video. So here are 15 things that your iPhone can do that you might not know about. Starting off with voice control. This is a very cool feature of iOS 13. So you go to your settings, go to accessibility, and from here go to voice control, and you can enable it from here. Go home. As you can see, you can basically control your iPhone with your voice. You can do everything you want. Swipe right. Swipe left. Show grid. Tap 17, go home, as you can see basically everything on your iPhone can be controlled only with your voice. On Safari on iOS 13 you will have the ability to quickly go to the full screen mode. So when you're scrolling on Safari you will have the top bar and the bottom bar of course, but if you just swipe up right there you will see Safari will enter this like full screen mode. You can see even when you scroll down it won't show the bottom bar right there. So of course you just swipe down there again and you will go back to the normal mode. As you can see like this, swipe up right there. You can see at the letters all you gotta do there is just swipe up and it goes to the full screen mode. Another trick here on Safari, now this is an older one, it works on iOS 12 as well. So if you go to the tab view, all you gotta do is tap and hold the plus button and it will show you your recently closed tabs on Safari. And this is an exclusive one for iOS 13. If you go to the App Store on iOS 13 and you go to your app updates right here, you can go ahead and delete any of your apps directly from the App Store. On the home screen of your iPhone, of course, you can swipe right and left to go between pages, but you can also tap right here at the corner just above the dock to move between pages on the home screen of your iPhone. You want to set a timer on your iOS device, you can do that very quickly from the control center of your device. Just force touch right here and as you can see you can slide here to set the timer and start it directly from here. You want to calculate something, of course you can use the calculator app but you can also do that directly from here, from the spotlight search. If you want to quickly calculate something, you can do that directly from here. If you select a word, of course, this menu will appear. You can tap that little arrow right there and you can tap look up and then it will show you the dictionary right here and it will show you like basically uses of that word. Also, it will show you the meaning of that word and everything about it. So you can see right here, it shows everything that you want to know about that word. Word. With iOS 13, when you select something, you can tap with three fingers and it will show you this new menu, which allows you to undo, redo, or cut, copy, or paste any text that you have selected. On iOS 13, now you can copy easily by pinching in with three fingers. You can see it says they are copy, or you can paste by pinching out with three fingers, just like this. You can see it says they are paste. When you want to send a picture with iMessage, you know that you can add different effects and add different stuff to that picture. So you go to your camera, you take the picture, and then just go ahead and tap on effects right here and you will have the ability to add different effects. You can see how cool that looks. Also, you can add like text or anything you want. Here we'll have like different shapes that you can add to that picture. So you can see as cool as that, you can move that of course and you will have different stuff here as well, your stickers and all that stuff, which you can go ahead and add to your picture. So just go ahead and choose whatever you want. You can add your Memoji or any of the other emojis right there and go ahead and add them to your pictures. If you go to your settings and you go to accessibility, you can find Siri right here and you can enable type to Siri. So instead of speaking to Siri, you can go ahead and type to Siri. So launch Siri,
and basically you can type any question that you want to Siri. With iOS 13 now you can customize the pictures, the profile pictures of your contacts. So go to edit and tap right there on edit and then you can go ahead and choose the pictures. Of course you can add any of the any emojis as a picture. So once you click done right here, click edit before clicking done, click choose right here and now you will have the ability to select different filters and apply them to the profile pictures of any of your contacts. With iOS 13, the new editing tool right here allows you to flip pictures. Easily you can go ahead and flip any of your pictures using that button right there at the top left corner. On iOS 13 now the keyboard has a new feature called slide to type but it also has a new feature right here called delete slide to type by word. You will have to enable that and then if you type a word by, a mis by mistake so let's say this one right here you can go ahead and just tap that back button and it will delete the complete word not letter by letter. So that is it for this video guys, these are 15 tricks that you can perform on your iPhone that you probably didn't know your iPhone could do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.